edge of the cemetery. Uh, we're gonna go in and see if we can uh, get a couple of names off the tombstones. Um, right now, I'm gonna take the spotlight from Anthony. Then we're gonna go on in. Now I'm gonna go in and try to see if I can read some of the names off. But I'm gonna try to be very careful because we don't want to disrespect any of the graves. make out the name but the birth date was 89 um, I 1901 1889 I'm going to say to 1901 so it was a kid 12 years old child um, now most of these graves seem uh, oh, I'm sorry most of these tombstones seem pretty old uh, weather ridden must be a uh, great one to run away. Here's a good one. John Miguel, 1848 to 1920. 72? Yeah. 72 years old. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's a lot more uh, graves. We don't want to really venture in too deep and uh, you know, mess them up or disrupt them. So we're going to head out and we're going to head over, if you can see. That's the uh, church right there. We're going to head out and uh, take a look at the church. All right, guys, we're right in front of the church. You can see behind us.
uh, right behind the church goes pretty much just straight down. Um, and nothing back there, but we're going to get another look at the cemetery. These two are relatively new. Yeah. 66 here and 2002 here. Take the spotlight off. Joseph R. Nelson's son. And then we have... Actually, Ethel Nelson was born in 1908, died in 2002. Wow. That one right oh there. Boy.